So the dog bite investigation and startup is kind of twofold. First, we start gathering information. We gather information about the dog owner, about insurance policies, about the dog, and we get all that from DHEC and from the client. And then we also had to help Eugene work through her injuries. So she obviously did treatment such as, you know, she had stitches, she got her stitches removed, but then she also went to see a plastic surgeon, a surgeon to have scar revision estimates so that she could plan for her future. And we do all that as we start doing that as soon as the client walks through the door. So we started that immediately with the team. And as you know, and our audience needs to be made aware, the biggest issue and the most important aspect of these cases, they can be, you can have all the injuries in the world with a dog bite, but if we can't find insurance coverage, there's pretty much nothing we can do if there's no assets to attack, to attach to through a, through a lawsuit. So yeah, we get our investigation team rocking and rolling. We pull that DHEC report. That DHEC report, they're required under our law, the animal control officer, to really do a detailed report and give us a lot of information. And then we also, uh, you may have mentioned this, but when we send that FOIA request on that address where the dog bite happened, we can get a lot of good information and nuggets that come back from those, uh, if there was a prior bite or anything else that happened at that household. So in, in Lou Jean's case, obviously she went through the motions. She got her plastic surgery estimate, which is something that we have a great network of doctors, thank God, that can help our clients put a value on these future uh, procedures. 